This is me replacing the wheel hub on my Infinity. I'm not a mechanic, but I'm just trying to save money. I'm going to show you how I did it. Start off by taking off the middle nut that holds the wheel hub and the CV axle. For me, it's a 36. Could be a 32 for you. Make sure someone ho holds down on the brake while you loosen it. And after this, we were going to, after we take it off, we go ahead and take off the caliper next. I just take off the bracket. It's a size 21 for me. It was a 21. That's me. It's two bolts. I'll show only one of them. But I'll show you right now two of them in the back. After that, you could take, I don't know why I left the disc, but you should be able to take off the disc and then hang up the caliper. But what I did, I don't know why, why instead of hanging it, I supported it with the new one and the box. But you just want to make sure you hang it, take off your disc and then hang up the caliper. But right here, I put the nut back, but I have to take it off. Take it off again. Then you... These are the two bolts that hold the bracket, the caliper bracket. There's two of them. Size 21 for me. It could be 22. But then in the back, we want to take off four 70 millimeters that hold the wheel hub. So there's two right here. I'm going to point at them. There's one right there and two. And then two at the bottom. You might have to turn your steering wheel to get to some. Depends your tool, dep Depending on your tools, like... Because there's not em uh, enough space, but you might have to turn it, the steering wheel. And then take off your, right there, the hole was for the wheel sensor. Take, make sure, you, you don't have to take it off all the way. This is just me recording when I replaced one of the sensors. But take off, uh, it's a 10 millimeter, there's a bolt, loosen it up, and then just put it on the side. Right there, I didn't record me taking it off, but... After that though, you're able to, that's basically it. You're able to pry out the wheel hub. Depending how old yours is, it might take a while just pry it out. Could be rusty, but it wasn't too hard for me, as you can see. I had help as well, but you're able to pry it out. And then the dust cover also will come off, as you can see. So then after this, just wipe down the surface, you know, make sure you have a clean surface to put the new one. Wipe down the hole where the ABS sensor goes, the wheel sensor. But yeah, right here you can see, after, you know, clean it, like I said. And there's me again, not hanging up the caliper for some reason. Just using it with the box to support it. But right there, you see, that's the 10 millimeter I was talking about. But right here, I'm wiping it down, cleaning down the surface, the hole for the sensor. Then you're able, you should be able now to put the new part. And you see right there, there's a hole. Line up that hole facing the wheel, the hole of the wheel sensor, ABS sensor. So there we go, the hole again. Line them up so you're able to put the sensor. So once you put the ABS... Put your sensor back, tighten up your sensor, and then tackle the four bolts in the back, the 17 millimeters. Put your sensor, that's me putting the sensor. Now, after the sensor, put the four bolts back, 17 millimeter, 17, the two up there, the two down there. So if you have the right tools, this should be easy, no problem. Once you put those four bolts back, you're basically able to put the rotor and caliper back, the two millimeters, the two, uh, 22 millimeters or 21 millimeter. And then after that, put your middle nut back, tighten it. For me, it was a 36. And then after this, put your wheel back on and you're basically set. That was it.